Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows 10 update KB5005101, which is this update, which was an optional preview update that rolled out at the beginning of this month, around about the 1st and 2nd of September 2021, is causing issues. And Microsoft has basically rolled out a not so um, common known issue rollback fix, which is known as KRR for short. And they say this is to fix the issue caused by uh, this Windows 10 update KB5005101. And in short, the problems are that um, some users cannot open files and apps on their machines. Now, if you don't know what KRR is or known issue rollback, it just says here basically to summarize a new capability that can quickly return an impacted device back to productive use if an issue arises during a Windows update. And it says here, known issue rollback is an important Windows servicing improvement to support non-security bug fixes, which an optional update mainly is, enabling us to quickly revert a single targeted fix to a previously released behavior if a critical regression is discovered. Now, um, this um, issue regarding KB5005101 is mainly affecting Windows 10 versions 21H1, 20H2, 2004, 1909, and 1809, and also Windows 10 Enterprise Editions LTSC 2019 and Windows Server 2019 and newer. And Microsoft says uh, in this post regarding um, the Windows release health page, in short, and I'm just going to quote this quickly, they say that after installing KB5005101 or later update on devices using Microsoft Exploit Protection, Export Address Filtering, EAF for short, you might have issues with some applications. You might be experiencing this issue if apps fail to open, fail to open files, or you might receive a white window when attempting to log in according to this post. Now, basically, Microsoft says that KRR, the fix, might take, you know, a couple of, you know, one or two days, 24 hours to 48 hours to basically uh, roll out on systems that are affected. And that if you want to speed things up and you haven't restarted your PC in a while, you can just restart your device. And they say this can help speed up the process. And also, if you're a little bit more adventurous and you don't want to go that route, they have um, given us some actual fixes regarding registry. If you're a little bit more braver to try out these fixes, you can try these out if you don't want to follow the KR, KRR approach. So I just wanted to let you know that KB5005101 is causing those issues uh, regarding opening files and apps and the known issue rollback, if you are affected, Microsoft will use to obviously resolve the issue. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.